Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Breakfast, hold on. Mmm. Fancy Marmite on toast. So I got myself a little treat. I had a very weird dream last night. This is my recurring dream in various forms. And this dream, it's, it's that I go to school and I've been there nearly a year and we get into the exam time. And I suddenly realise I've hardly been to any of the lessons. I've done hardly any of the work. And then I start to worry that I've wasted a year and I'm not gonna get anything done. And I'm not gonna pass. I don't even know my timetable. I don't even know by the end of the year where I'm meant to be. What room, what lesson. And I was trying to do an art thing. It was rolling up a piece of clay with a stick, slicing it at the bottom, and then doing this clever manoeuvre that turned it into cinnamon rolls. And then you were using the cinnamon rolls, this doesn't make any sense, to make hedgehogs. And hedgehogs was the, oh, drip, drip, hedgehogs, was the final kind of stage and I couldn't even make one cinnamon roll. Oh yeah, that's my dream. I'm gonna fail school in my sleep again. Time for a cup of tea. That's what gets me going in the morning. Oh You love it or you hate it. My might. Personally, I love it. I fancy a little bit of my on toast for my breakfast. Excuse me while I eat. What on my shelf? That's because that's Chip. Chip, another Chip, and Mrs. Potts. And this is the green man. He looks after the trees. And this is my goat that I've just given a bath to because he was dirty. Like the Billy Goat's Gruff. Do you know the story of the Billy Goat's Gruff? That's like pigs going bath. Pigs go in the bath, do they? Yeah. Pigs like mud bath. Maybe you should have a mud bath. We put you in mud. No. No. We don't have a mud bath. What do you have in your bath? Water. Nice. Do you have bubbles? Yeah, just a little bit. Oh, I have lots of bubbles. They're like, they come up over my head. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just peek out the bubbles and go, hello, hello. I like lots of bubbles. Do you have bubbles in your bath, Charlie? I you do. Mum. Lots of bubbles. I don't do that. You don't do that. Sometimes no. I put bubbles on my chin. And I pretend I'm Father Christmas. I go ho 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 ho. <laughs> That's fun to do as well. Dump truck. Uh, we do rest on the sofa, don't we? But that's later on. You got apples on that, Beth. There you go. Look, that is a. I'm just talking to Harvey, please. I, Harvey, I'm just talking to um, Charlie. Please don't interrupt. That one is a bulldozer. What did you want to say, Harv? Because uh, I lay on the bean bag. What, at sleep time? Yeah. Yeah, you've got a long time till sleep time, though. We've got lots of fun to have first. I've got a car. Uh, 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 uh. What have you got? Uh, Toadstools? Who's that? Is it the Joker or I don't know who that is? Oh, Bruce okay. Banner. What's that? Bruce Banner. He's like a dinosaur. Oh, okay. Oh, well, Charlie's playing with these at the moment, sweetie. Would you like me to find one you can do? Okay. What's this one? What's this one? 
the cement mixer. Oh. Careful, Bethy Boo. Bethy, I did ask you to just wait, didn't I? If you'd waited, it wouldn't have ripped. Oh dear, now it's ripped. That one's not working anymore. Woof, 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 woof. Uh, what are you telling me, Charlie? Uh, uh, a logging machine, uh, a logging lorry. Ah. Uh, Did you just bump your knee? Yeah. Oh dear, you okay? There's a train station coming along Aurora. Um, I need to put all those bigger on there. Um, I can put my money. I like how you've got all the people waiting at the train station, waiting for their train to come. Yeah. Um, yeah, um, that man calling up on the road. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Oh, you showing us your picture, Charlie? Did you put some blue on it? Yeah. Blue like your top. Yeah. Should we colour some more in together? Sit up at the chair, then we'll oh, do it together. So that that colour is. Do you know what colour this colour is? It's that colour. Is it green? Yeah. That's. Have you got a green there? Oh, that's a gold you've got. I think this is more gold. Try this one. That looks the same, doesn't it? That's it. You've matched them. Well done. Are you putting more purple on the purple bath? What about the purple spot down here for the purple feet on the bath? Can you see down there, Charlie? Look, just there where the bath foot is. That's purple, isn't it? That's it. We're matching all the colours. Colour by spots. Can you see uh, any others, Beth? Oh, you've got blue, haven't you? I wonder where the blue spots are. Maybe there aren't any. There's lots of green spots. Can you find a green pen to do the green spots? There's... Uh, is that a green? Is there a green in there somewhere? Oh, I found it. See if you can find a green spot and then you need to colour that whole bit in green. There's a green spot. Yeah, do the whole leg then. Colour the leg in green. The whole leg. That's it. Not just on the spot. You've got to colour the whole leg in green. Can you do that? Yeah, all his leg. That bit and, and the whole of his leg. His whole leg is green. So all of this needs to be green. Can you do it all green? That's it. Good girl yellow bit of his hat. That's it, well done. So you match the spots to the colour. Well done you. What are they doing Charlie? <laughs> Beth? Is Beth a monster? Are you trying to eat everybody? I get Charlie. I'm trying to get Charlie. <laughs> Charlie, go with Harvey, he's running away. She can't get you if you run away. Run away. Go get him, Beth. Ra 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 ra. How's your colouring coming along, Aurora? You doing a good job? No. Have you got the black? He's he has a black nose, so you need to do that one black, don't you? I don't know. I'm just helping you, look. Black nose. Even I get to do colour by numbers. Don't I, Charlie? Uh, Would you like some help with me to lift the lid? Shall I help you lift it, or can you do that bit? Well done, you did it yourself. I've got my tea, and you've got your water. We're going to sit together. They're playing chase, aren't they? And I'm colouring by numbers. Now I just need my green. Green spots. Dinner tonight. It's a throw together meal. Really simple. Got some frozen peppers, frozen carrots. I always put my veg in the freezer. It stays fresh. Uh, what else have we got?
cherry tomatoes cut in half they can go in i think i've made this before on here it's one of the boys favorite well brendan's favorite Kenzie's not doesn't mind one way or the other really he's not overly keen on the chickpeas when i put them in right onion onion more carrots Kenzie likes the carrots Okay, do we have any Cajun? Cajun seasoning. I have a horrible feeling I used the last of it. I'll have a little bit of paprika. A little bit of paprika. I think we'll have some pulled pork. I know it's not pork, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Give it a bit of flavour. Oh, I know what we do need. Use the pre chopped stuff. Oh my goodness, just want to open that you have in the fridge. You just keep it in the fridge, it's all pre chopped. A little bit, a little bit of garlic. Chickpeas. Make sure you drain the chickpeas. Oh, I've got garlic stuck to my fingers. That's stinky. Okay, so give them a drain and a rinse. this is frozen I'm going to leave it in the oven not on obviously because that would be ridiculous I'm going to leave it to defrost a bit for the next hour and then I will turn the oven I'll take it out turn the oven off on to heat up and then chuck it back in when the oven is at temperature um, I often cover it with some tin foil or something just so that the top doesn't char or catch. Um, and I give it a stir a few times. I usually cook it for about an hour. I don't know, I can't think what heat it is. Usually about 180, nearly 200. I'm a bit slapdash with my temperatures. Um, yeah, I'm just going to leave that to defrost in the... Uh, in the oven, the oven off, and then I can put the oven on in a bit, and it'll be ready for them coming home from school. Super, super simple. Oops. Super, super simple. And if you chop up all your veg and keep them in the freezer so they don't go off, then it's even easier because you literally just empty everything into the pot. And season it you don't even have to cut the chicken up nice and easy right i need a cup of tea hopefully the kids are going down for a sleep it has gone quiet so fingers crossed they are getting ready for sleep and uh, oh look at that light Ooh, flash flash no epilepsy warnings on this sorry people that was annoying you so this is it working with kids get very easily distracted by things. It's like, I still see the magic in everything. Ooh, let's see again. Wow, flashy, 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 flashy. Oh, Woman, you're 41, not four. Okay, team. Right, okay, tell me about the course you've just done. I didn't do it. You didn't do it? No. Didn't Why didn't you do it? Because I wanted to be traumatized by burnt faces and scratch shattered skulls. 
Oh. He didn't do what? Hold on, I'm talking to Brendan. Okay. We got this for free. So what did you, you had an option then, did you? Yes. Okay. So what did it, you explain what that does. It's a, uh, it's a Faraday cage. I'm just it talking, Brendan's just talking to me. Stops you being able to call, uh, receive phone calls and stuff while inside. So you place this, your phone, into this. Right. While, while you're driving? Yes. And then what happens? You don't receive calls or messages that distract you and cause you to murder innocent pedestrians. I like that. That's a very good idea. Oh, go to the toilet or something. And, uh, <laughs> yes. Go to the toilet. You don't have to ask, love. Just go. <laughs> okay, so you and you had an option. Yeah. Right. Okay. So what were they doing then? It's showing you things about like car accidents and stuff, so that you drive know. carefully. No, I wasn't there. Oh, but you seem to know what you wanted to avoid. It's Doesn't kind everyone? of self-explanatory. Once we did like one weird presentation that kind of fit along the same oh, right. lines. I was like, aha! I saw basically a four-hour ball of ghoul in real life. All right. Okay. Fair enough. Had a burnt face and it will haunt me for the rest. Oh of the yeah. Day. Fair enough. Yeah. You don't need to say it. You need to be ready for your dad coming for you at four o'clock. Because I only need this. Cool. Go on, Evan. How do you do that? I used to be able to do that many moons ago. How do you do that? How do you do that? Something like this. Is it something like that? Something like that, yeah. I can do it straight Wait, there. I need Very impressive. I'll try go into it. I'll try go into it going backwards. Oh, I can't do it. Do that. not fall on your head. Okay. Please do, do not fall on your head. Then. Let's see if I do that. <laughs> I can't do it. But no, I wouldn't be able to do that. What? He wants to go. Oh. No. <laughs> yeah, not quite. Good try though. I was never. I could never do cartwheels. I was never any good at cartwheels. Oh, I can do cartwheels. I can't. I can't. Oh look, Molly can do it. I go on that. I go on that. No, you do not. No, you don't sit on her. You'll break her. I said under. Oh well, she might fall on you. I've got nowhere to move. She's going to have leg muscles the size of turnips or pumpkins. <laughs> oh no! Okay, now you tell me about your picture. Uh, it's remember the soldiers who died in the woods and... and Where did the soldiers die? They died in a wall. In a wall? Yeah. Do you mean the war? Yeah. In the war? And And the poppies are growing nicely. They are growing nicely. And the, and the straight line of green fingers, the grass, and, and it's. and, and the, uh, the straight. there's a special sea because the special sea is up in the sky. And, okay. And it. and it. And you can climb up the poppies by getting into the sea. So you can get to the special sea up there. Yeah. Is that what happened to the soldiers? Did maybe when they died, did they go up the poppies into a special sea? No. No? The wall. They went in a wall? Yeah. Oh, okay. In the ground, and it was a special swimming pool. A special swimming pool? That's where the soldiers went? No. No? They went under the grass. Oh, they went to a grave, didn't they? Yeah. yeah. Well, some of the soldiers went in the grave, some survived. Some survived, yes. Unfortunately, not as many survived as we would have liked. That is a lovely, lovely picture, Clara, and that's for me, is it? Yeah. Thank you, I'll pop it on my on fridge. On the back is dead round poppies to climb up. Oh, the they're very tall poppies, aren't um, they? And this is the scary bit, but I didn't do it. But my water bottle must have leaked on this. Oh, that poppy. would explain why that's smudged, if the water bottle leaked. Thank you, Clara. That's a really lovely picture. I'm going to put it on my fridge. Thank you. Another day nearly done. The kids are all downstairs. I've got three playing a board game. Oh, it's dark in here. I've got three on gadgets, I think. Um, and oh, look at that it's getting dark out there before long it's going to be pitch black by this time God, just getting the house all cosy and you know that nice nighttime feeling 
so close now to my day being done. Um, I'm going to show you these books I'm reading. Oh, hold on. Hold on, you'll like this. Anthony Horowitz. Horowitz. So The Power of Five. These are the books that I am currently reading. They are actually young adult books. He writes books for kids or young adults. Um, so this is one I'm about to start tonight. This is the second one in the series. And it's about kind of witches and opening a gate. It's called the Raven Gate, where evil can come in. Um, I got through the first book in about two days. Loved it. Really loved it. And so I'm looking forward to starting that one later on today. Um, yeah, really recommend them. I never pay a lot for my books. I got that from the charity shop. Oh, door, hold on. That was two of the kids going home. Um, so now I'm down to four, so I've come back to put these clothes away. Um, yeah, I never pay a lot for my for my books. I always get them from the charity shop. Let me just pop you on there for a minute. Ooh. Then I can multitask. Um, yeah, so I uh, get my books from the charity shop. I pay like 50p a pound for them. And then when I'm done with them, I just take them back. And then someone else can enjoy them. Oh, well, I've got a bit of bleach on my Captain America top. Well, that's annoying. Um, yeah, I love it. I think it's brilliant. I think, you know, charity shops can make some money on it. I think this is dirty. Yes, it is. Um, charity shops can make some money on the books several times over. Because once you've read it, you don't really want to keep hold of it and read it again. Or I don't. There's no point, really, once I've read it once. Um, and I'll pass it on and they can make the money a second time. Hopefully other people do the same. It just keeps bringing money into the charity shops. And I kind of chop and change which charity shops I drop them all off at as well. Um, so spread the love. Spread the love. Um, right. I'm going to crack on and get some bits done while everyone's relaxing and uh, yeah, parents should be arriving any minute. 